So hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial, and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how you can add 2D lights to your Unity game. It's pretty simple, and it's um, like using the universal render pipeline, and it's pretty cool. As you can see, I have a very simple scene here. It's nothing more than just a background image, but the lights are the main thing that's making it look really cool, and adding a bit of bloom and some post-processing effect makes it look much better. So yeah, let's get started. So right at the back, I have my scene opened. It's nothing, it's just a plain image with a camera on it. It's a 2D project, of course, using the very uh, basic rendering pipeline. So let's get started with uh, implementing the URP. So first things first, let me just adjust my scene a little bit. So yeah, now we go to the window and open up the package manager. There it is. So now from here you need to go into Unity Registry and in here you can either search or look up for Unity, I'm just gonna, okay, you know what, just, uh, it's right over here, so uh, where is it, um, oh there it is, uh, yeah, so yeah, here is Universal RP, Universal Render Pipeline, and what you need to do is to install this, and let's just hit here install, and it's gonna take some time, and once it's done, it should look something like this, and once it's done, now you should be able to uh, go to your assets or any other folder, just right click, create, go to the create option and here should, you should see an option rendering pipeline, universal render pipeline and pipeline asset forward renderer. You need to create this file. So once you do, name it anything you want, I'm just going to leave it to default and once it's done, as you can see this is the first one. Now go to the file and into that go to the build settings and then you need to go to the player settings from here. On to the player settings, you just need to go into the graphics tab over here. Okay, wait, I just, uh, here we go. So from now on here, you need to just right click on this little dot and select this thing. And once you've done that, it should some look like something like this. And uh, just to make sure, yes, uh, yeah, there it is. So yeah, it's done. So now you're almost ready, but you need to do another small thing. So open up the first that folder the file which I just showed you. Just go to the general right over here. This one, not this one. This one, this is the one. So on when you're in here, you need to, uh, before that, you just need to, let me just, uh, yeah, you, you just need to make a 2D renderer from here. Making it is pretty simple. Right click, create, go to the rendering pipeline option, rendering universal render pipeline, create a 2D renderer. <coughs> I'm just gonna name it URP 2D. You can name it whatever you want, it doesn't really matter anyway. So yeah, once you're done, just hit the first asset and just drag and drop the file you just created. Once that is done, now everything should be said and done and now you can start using your project to Universal Render Pipeline. So right at the back, you won't see any differences, but when you try to drag and drop anything new, such as a new sprite or a new something, you should see it just immediately turns black. That is because it's now using a unlit a lit shader, a universal pipeline lit shader rather than using the st standard 2D one. So you can either upgrade your materials or I'm just gonna keep it at default. So yeah, uh, as you can see, uh, now if I drag and drop something and in the here, the old ones are using the standard assets, standard default shader. But when I try to drag and drop something new, it just turns black because there is no light, any global light in the scene. So let's start by, uh, let me just start by deleting the previous background and dragging and dropping the new one. They're all the same images, just I'm re just re-entering them in my scene, so yeah. Uh, once like this, so now let's get started. Right click, go to the lights option, not, not this one, go to the lights. You should see a new option called 2D. Under that, you can see various kinds of lights. So let's start with the point light. And these lights work exactly as they do in the original, like the 3D one, but just they're on 2D and like, yeah, so as you can see, this is an actual light in the uh, 2D as asset. So yeah, you can now create different kinds of light. There are many kinds of lights. Uh, the one is point. You can use this point light to change its direction, shape, however you want it to. And like this, as you can see, you can duplicate it or create more, change the color, intensity, just like you would expect from a normal light in the 3D scene. So there are there's another one which is the 2D global light, which works just like the 3D direct directional light, and it's just a global light that 
illuminates everything around it, just like everything in the scene. So I'm just gonna set the intensity a little bit lower, and as you can see, you can change the colors. So I'm just gonna go a bit for something like a little bit of pink tint. Yeah, I think this looks uh, this looks fairly decent. So yeah, you can play around with these settings and move along with them. So yeah, let's uh, try using another type of light. So another type of light is the uh, there are many options. There's the sprite light, which is the emission that makes the sprite glow. Then there's this weird thing. I don't know what it's called. Par parametric light, I guess. I don't know. You can. And there's another one called the freeform light, which is one of my favorite lights. What so far? As you can see, we can change it from here, or you can also create it from right clicking. So what this light does is basically creates a light that you can change however you want it to. With this, you can do some pretty cool things like creating light rays, peeking through your screen, or you know, lots of things. And yeah, all this is highly customizable. You just you can just edit them just like you would in or in a 3D scene. As you can see, after a bit of bit of tweaking around, I came up with this. You can play around with the fall off and intensity, the colors, and also so many other things which are available here. So let me just show you what I came up with after a few adjustments and some post processing. So yeah, here's what my scene came up looking. I added a little bit of bloom with some vignette and some other post-processing effects like a grain and stuff. With that, all that's being said, my scene starts to look pretty cool, I think, at the end of the day. And I'm just gonna use some tone map. Aces looks the best, so I'm just gonna do that. Depending on your scene, what type of lighting you want or what type of scene look you want, you can just change it, it's customizable. And yeah, that's pretty much how you can add lights to your 2D scene by using Universal Render Pipeline. If you already have made a project and you want to previous ex pre on a previous ex you want to add this on a previous ex existing package or a previously existing project, you can also do this all that by doing these follows, following these same steps. So yeah, that's how to cover it all for this video. Thanks for watching. If this was helpful, drop a like, drop a comment, and I guess I'll see you in a few months or so.